key to that test. I can tell and, you and, that, and that's, that. That's just, you know, the way I'm seeing it. My, my stepdaughters are in a different school district, and I can tell you that last year there were certain things that were not taught or were only glossed over, really, in the language arts program because they pretty much knew that it was not going to be tested. So it was only touched on briefly, and then they went on to the next thing that was going to be tested on. They were teaching to the test. Mm -hmm. It's a, I just want to know, is that how it's going to be done? I, I don't believe that's how it's going to be done. That would be my uh, perception. Um, I think that you will find individuals that may say, oh, this is what I have to do because this is what is here. But I also think that when we're looking at the concepts of the Common Core and teaching deep into those concepts, there are other things and there are different ways that we can teach that concept um, that gives the individuality for that teacher. Um, but so, yeah, the, this, the STAR test and the Common Core that gives our teachers a guideline to teach at. Mm -hmm. Previous to the STAR, I was a history teacher. And some of my colleagues loved to teach to the Vietnam War. And they would teach five to six months in the Vietnam War. Okay, and they would, because that's what they knew, and they ignored so many other things. But with the CST and now with the Common Core, it gives us a guideline for teachers to teach to, to, to teach to the standards. It does. So they don't ignore other things. Okay. And how the teachers teach, that's up to them. Whether it's a simulation, whether it's a lecture, whether it's a video, whether it's a PowerPoint, whatever it is, as long as they teach, cover those standards. How they teach, they have complete autonomy how they teach. <coughs> okay, there was a question earlier um, about who we were, if you could just you know, come in late. Um, Bill Morones is the Director of Secondary Education for the district. Um, Chris and I are both school support administrators, and we work in the Student Achievement School Support Division. Um, and then I noticed that she's not in on us. Our Assistant Superintendent for the Student Achievement <coughs> School Support, Rose Locke, who um, really is a, has been a driving force in supporting um, our transition through this. So. Um, I assure you that we are doing anything and everything we can so that your kids are, um, are ready. Um, that's, that's the idea. Um, and we want them to be productive citizens. And, 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 and we're able to go out and research and see what other districts are doing as well regarding the Common Core. And just in some of my colleagues that I talk to in our neighboring districts, I, I feel very good about where we are. We are at, at the pace that other dis, 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 districts are even further along than most of them. So I feel very good of where we are as a district, uh, just in terms of where we are in addressing the Common Core. You think you discussed the data collection that's going to be done on each and every student, including you know, parents' income, parents' uh, faith, parents' uh, political leanings. And I've even read some reports that it, there's including biometric data. How can we as a parent opt out of some of that? I, as I said earlier, we have not heard that. If you have a resource, I would love to take that um, because we would like to research that. Um, as I also said earlier, there are a, some myths that are floating out there. Um, the state doesn't take um, your religious data. Um, we don't know. So how are we going to put that in? We've never supplied it for anything. They basically just keep it. And what's happening is the Department of Education is keeping a 400, basically, point of data database on each and every student. How do they get it since it's unlawful for them to have it? They're getting it from the states and basically pressuring the states with money. Um, you know, we'll withhold funds if you don't give it to us and all of that kind of stuff. So they're collecting it from the states and they're keeping it in the uh, thing. Now, for the last 40 years, we were protected by FERPA, which is federal something uh, restricted. Educational uh, Yeah, thank you. Act. Thank you. Um, and they're basically doing an end run around that. And saying that, you know, I just read an article that said that they've admitted, well, you know, not only is the government going to use it for whatever purpose they want, but they're going to go ahead and give it to third parties, too, if they deem that they're somehow, you know, important. And, you yeah. know, I have concern about that. I would have yeah. concerns as well. Again, that's not something that I have read. I would love okay. to see the, the information that you have. Um, because I, I would like to be able to speak to that. Because I do believe um, that there are fallacies out there and there are... Um, you know, things, people talk, and then, you know, it's a game of telephone. You oh, tell yeah. her, and she yeah, tells right. her, and then all of a sudden, you know, my dog got run over by a car. this isn't so. really the right form to discuss right. these things. Yes, yeah, well, what yeah. form yeah. is there to discuss it? And I think that you definitely have something to say of value. No, okay, but what, can you tell me what the correct say. form but is? I'm just not sure that this is the right form. It sounds like you need to elevate yourself to a different place in order for your voice to be more effective. Can you tell
tell me where that place is? I don't know. That's something that you would need to Okay. So how would you know where there is and where there is a the CDE, California Department of Education. And when will they be here? Okay. When will they be here? Because right now, as I think someone else said, there's only been four meetings that the parents could attend and ask any questions. So how then do we get to these people to ask these questions? On their website. I think yeah, CD has a website. CDC website, and they do have a contact us uh, yes. section on their website for yeah. Common Core, as they do with any of their divisions, but it's got the links to, to contact them. And yeah. has, and has we roll out the field test in the spring, we will have further parent information meetings as well, so that you know what were some of the obstacles or hurdles where our plan will be rolling this out in the year 2014, 2015. Mm -hmm. you know, open and transparent about well, because otherwise, when Rose. you just put questions, the other piece, you can talk to your legislators. You know, they're the ones who oh, pass. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, they're the ones who approve all of this. So. Okay. So we thank you for coming out, and once again, please write down your questions mm -hmm. and contact information so we can follow through with you with if you have some pressing questions.